This is a look back at the Canadian mist, Clyde Gray, who has to be considered one of the hard luck welterweights of the 1970s along with Hedgeman Lewis, and that he happened to be coming along at the same time as Jose Napoli's. Uh, Gray was a good fighter. He, he didn't do anything, one thing particularly well, but he was overall a very balanced and technical fighter, as you will see evidence here as he uh, picks apart the tough Jamaican, Bunny Grant. championship fight featuring the defending champion Clyde Gray and the challenger Bunny Grant. We have Clyde with us on this afternoon's telecast. Clyde, I suppose the, the initial question should be why did you take this fight with Bunny Grant? Well, Fergie, we won the uh, Commonwealth title uh, uh, approximately about a year ago and it was time for us to defend the number one, Eddie Blay. He didn't want a shot at the title right away and Stracy from England also didn't want it, so Bunny Grant rated number third. That's why we're fighting him. Of course, a year ago, you fought Eddie Blay, you went the distance, and that's when you won your Commonwealth title. Right. Any strategy for Bunny Grant? He's a veteran, he's had 84 fights. Well, Bunny Grant, uh, we know he's a smart fighter. He, he's, he's a, like you say, he's a veteran. He knows all the tricks. So the, the first two or three rounds, you'll see me feeling him out, taking my time, and, and, and looking for shots to the body and hoping to slow him down. One thing that was very noticeable in the early rounds, Clyde, you did show a lot of respect for Bunny Grant. That's true. Uh, you know, you always got to show a little respect for the guy in the early rounds. Uh, uh, you never know. Uh, a lot of guys get hit early and uh, when they're not expecting. I, 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 I think you should always feel the guy for the early rounds. Bunny Grant in the white trunks. We should mention that Grant did go the distance with world welterweight champion Jose Napoles. The distance was 10 rounds. He lost the unanimous decision. But of course, Clyde, you also went the distance with Napoles. 15 rounds for the world welterweight championship. Started kind of, he uh, came out there quite fast in the first round. One thing I didn't expect him to do, he came out throwing a couple of good hard body shots. Uh, you know, I just kept my cool and uh, just took my time and let him throw away there and, and just block most of the punches that he threw. Crowd of 5,300 here at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Come on, Clyde, we got to work tomorrow. There really wasn't too much boxing here in this first round, Clyde. No, no, not really. We're both just being a little cagey. Uh, he's a smart fighter. He, he knows what he's doing in there. He takes his time. He's a cool. He's, he's a Napoli's type fighter. You know, he's, he, uh, he don't give away too much. He just keeps his cool all the time. You're doing a lot of lunging here in the first round. Clyde, you don't ordinarily do that. Well, no, I don't know uh, whether he was, he was doing a little jumping back a little. Doing a little jumping back thing. And uh, one thing I found out after the first round, I, I had to do a little more faking instead of leading so much. We're in round one. There's the bell, and that's the end of round one. This is round two of the British welterweight championship fight. Clyde Gray in the red trunks, Bunny Grant in the white trunks. Grant, of course, is the challenger. 
Clyde Gray is with us on this afternoon's telecast. What thoughts went through your mind at the end of that first round, Clyde? Well, when I come back to my corner, my trainer, uh, I never say anything. You're fighting a good fight. Go ahead and do the same thing in the next round. Uh, keep circling them and uh, uh, look for the open to the body. When you see a good open, think a good hard shot to the body. Because I, uh, after the, uh, the first round, I did hit him one good left hook to the body, and I heard him grunt a little bit, and I know he, didn't, he doesn't like it to the body. So that's what the plan was in the, the next second and third round, to so look for a good shot to the body. The referee is the veteran Sammy Lusspring. Good exchange, yeah, but I don't think any of those punches really hit. Uh, I don't remember maybe ever getting in, in the fight really getting hit any solid shots. Most of them I blocked on my gloves. The fact that Bunny Grant defeated Eddie Perkins, Clyde, and you fought Perkins, and you couldn't defeat him. I mean, that had to be a big factor in you accepting the fight. Uh, you wanted to get that mark off your record. Oh, well, I fought Perkins when I had about 15 uh, professional fights. I didn't think I was ready at the time to fight Perkins. Perkins uh, at the time, they, a lot of people said he was a veteran. He was pretty well over the hill, but Perkins today is still going strong. He's in the top 10. There's an excellent flurry of punches, Clyde. I think you had him in trouble. There's no question about that. Right. That was a good left hook to the head started that, that flurry. One thing that really impresses me about Bunny Grant, he has a lot of intestinal fortitude, and he displayed it. That's true. At, there were times, uh, you know, when I, like at the exchange, you just see, and it was one good left hook, and I thought he was just ready to go, and just he just comes back. Like you'll see, he'll probably come back firing here any minute. Why would you stay in close on the fighter against the ropes? Why not move back and give him the one good shot? Well, Bunny Grant is the type of fighter, he likes to fight on the ropes. I couldn't keep him in the center, you know. I wanted to force the fight to him, and, and, and uh, he, instead of going to the circle, he kept backing into the ropes. He likes fighting under the ropes. Most veteran fighters do like that. Yeah, I don't know why, I don't know about myself. I try to stay off the ropes. Some good shots along the ropes. That's the end of round two. This is the beginning of round three here at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. Clyde Gray, the British Commonwealth champion, ranked number two in the world. Going against the challenger, Bunny Grant of Jamaica. Grant the veteran, 84 professional bouts. Well, from here on in, I, I got the feel off him a little bit. You'll see me throwing more combinations and getting things more together from the third round on. Ordinarily in a fight, Clyde, when you're fighting a fighter of Grant's stature, now, how long does it take you to really feel a fighter out? It takes a good uh, two or three rounds at least two or three rounds. Uh, Grant's the type of fighter who plays possum a lot. Uh, it's hard to figure him out. Like I say, he's a not this type of fighter. He's a cool fighter. You can hit him your best shot, and then you don't know if you hurt him or not. You recently went the 15 rounds with Napoli's for the World Championship. How long was it before you really got your confidence against Napoli? Well, I had confidence going all in the fight with Napoli. Uh, uh, I really, I didn't have too much respect to him until I got knocked down, I believe, in the fifth round. And after that, you know, I had a little bit too much respect for him. And uh, he just, he's a great fighter. You know, just, I don't think there's anyone around, you know, it's from the top of He's going to 
Well, he's starting, Grant is starting to drop his left hand a bit. Now you'll see me start throwing right hand leads over. That's one right there. differently for this fight Clyde? Uh, no, not really. I, I haven't, didn't have as much boxing that I usually have for a fight. Uh, this fight I have maybe 70 to 80 rounds of boxing. Normally I have 100 rounds. And that's the end of round three. This is round four. What instructions did Ted McWhorters give you in the corner, Clyde? Well, coming out in this round, I, I seem to remember him saying that, you know, that you're hurting him good to the body. Like, I, 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 I'm throwing left hooks to the head. And he says, work from the body to the head. Not, don't start throwing left hooks to the head because uh, uh, Grant was seem to get away from my left hooks. So he says, uh, to work from the body up. in close. Yeah, uh, I like working in close. I, I feel comfortable working in close. At a distance, sometimes I don't. I feel safer in close than in, 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 in distance. In close. Uh, the only thing you got to watch when you're in close uh, is, is head bunts. We did bunt heads quite a few times in this fight. I'm super lucky that none of us end up with any cuts. Watching the British Commonwealth Welterweight Championship fight here on CTV's Wide World of Sports. I'm Fergie Oliver, and with me is the number two ranked fighter in the world in the welterweight division, Clyde Gray. He's in the red trunks, Bunny Grant, the challenger from Jamaica, in the white trunks. you're the aggressor I thought throughout the fight there was no question about that oh yeah I always try to be the aggressor uh, more or less now in this round I'm, I'm just picking my spots there's some good body punching there Straight to the head and the body you'll see me working to the body and to the head remember after this round my trainer would tell me uh, you know watch this guy because he might be playing cage you know he's the type of fighter that he, my trainer was afraid he might try to get, get me to punch myself out. So he said, relax, don't force the fight too much. Just just keep picking your spots. Well, if you notice, Ali, he, uh, as he's getting older, he works a lot more off the ropes now than he used to. There's a time that he just wouldn't be caught in a corner. That's true. Uh, Ali uh, is known for that, too. He'll try to get the corner to punch himself out. He'll get in the corner along the ropes and uh, uh, let his uh, opponent throw punches at him. That's the end of round four. This is round five, and the fight at this stage, Clyde, uh, wasn't in doubt at all. No, I was. I was pretty confident, Bergie. Uh, I. I, I knew I won the fight uh, pretty handily, but looking at the, the fight here again this afternoon, uh, I, I, I tell you the truth, I, I looked a lot sharper than I thought I was. Uh, I just was right up to par for this fight. Everything was working good. I can see the jabs, the hooks, the right hand, everything. I thought it was a great fight. Maybe the fact that you didn't train as hard, do you think that might have helped you? 
Well, it's probably got something to do with it. You know, fighters have been known to do, you know, overtrain a little bit. It was said maybe that you did overtrain for the Napolese fight. Well, it, it's possible. I was in camp an awful long time for the Napolese fight, and uh, I did an awful lot of sparring. I had an awful lot of sparring partners. You know, and well, who knows? You know, when you're fighting for world title, you just got to go all out. You don't know when, you know, you don't know when to stop, or you know, there's not much to do. working on his head more so than his midsection climb here in this fifth round. Yeah, in the fifth round, uh, like I say, uh, I was afraid that he might be trying to play in KG, KG and try to get me to punch myself out. So I'm just picking my spots now, getting the jab working good. When there's an open throw hooks to the head, there's a right, good right hand, nice the combination there. All that, the combinations are working good. That right hand of yours looked like it came out of nowhere. Yeah, it's very fast. I keep trying to fake him out of position. You see, he's dropping that left hand very low. I'm trying to fake to the left and fake back to the right and throw it over his left. You knew you had, Buddy Grant, probably in the first round or maybe even before the fight. Mind you, you'd never seen him fight before, and he does have an impressive record. But how long after the first round did you feel it would take you then to defeat Grant? Well, after the, f the first couple of rounds, I was pretty sure. I hit him with some good shots to the body, and I knew I hurt him. Uh, going into the fourth round, I figured it might go six or seven. Uh, after that, after, I don't know, it's, it's hard to say, you know. It's, it's hard to say how tough it's fight is. You, know? you, you can't really predict when you're in a fight. All you know, you just got to go at each round and do what you can. And that's the end of round five. This is round six, and this is the round that Clyde Gray knocked Bunny Grant down in. Clyde, what do we look for? Well, in this round, you'll see me try to get my combination. I'm, I'm still working on that right hand. I'm trying to get that right over, but I'm trying to get my hook in first. Uh, uh, you'll try see me weave under, and try to get under his, under his uh, right lead and try to come up with the left hook and follow his right hand. Right now, going into this round, I hit him with some good shots, good hard shots, and uh, you know, uh, a lot of shots I thought it might take him out. Another good right hand. This round, I think we'll see where everything works pretty well, Clyde. You can hear Irv Ungerman in the corner hollering out orders. Yeah, you know, Fergie, you can always hear her. <laughs> <laughs> when you're in the ring like that, can you uh, hear, like, Teddy or Irv? Uh, oh, yeah. All the time? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, well, a great shot, Clyde. Great combination. Yes, I don't know how he got up and came back fighting after those, that flurry. That was, a, that was a real good right hand. He fell into it, and I put everything into it. A mandatory eight count. The referee, Sammy Lovespring. Now, what, when you went to the corner, what were you thinking about there? Well, I just looked over my corner, and they say, well, go get him. He's ready to be taken. And that's what I try to do right here. I go try to pin him. I hit him with everything in this corner. I don't know how he took it. He's just a tough fighter. Do you hold him up in this corner, though? Notice how close you're in. Yeah, that's what I didn't want to let him out. I know if he got a chance to get out, he would get out. So I stayed right in front of him and tried to crowd him in there. But look at how Bunny Grant is fighting back. 
After being knocked down, the mandatory eight count, look at him. What intestinal fortitude, Clyde. That shows, you know, a guy like him, because the experience that he had 80 pro fights, it shows when something like this happens. Did he hit you any good shots in there? Uh, he hit me a couple of good shots, but at that point, they were, you know, he had no, no real, no real bat to him because, you know, he was pretty, he was hurt pretty much himself at this point. Did you expect him to come back like no, this? No, I didn't. I thought I would really knock him down again or take him out at this point. But it was one of the best exchanges in the fight right here in this round. This is what makes the welterweight division, I think, a, a great division is action like this. Right. And that's the end of round six. What a round it was. A crowd of 5,300 here at Maple Leaf Gardens in Toronto. You're watching the British Commonwealth Walterweight Championship fight. Clyde Gray in the red trunks. Clyde is with us on the telecast this afternoon. And the challenger, Bunny Grant. Clyde just had uh, Grant down on the canvas in the sixth round for the mandatory eight count. Now we're in round seven. Do you want to come out here, Clyde, and try and finish him off early? Uh, well, uh... In the seventh round, I'm coming out, uh, but I'm not going to try him right away. I'm going to pick at him and, and, and just look for the open. Because I know how he, he proved in that round how smart he was after being hurt and got up. I know I'm going to take my time and just look for the, the open and try to lay the big bomb on Listen to that crowd. A good fight. So this is one, one, one good fight. I can't believe, Bunny Grant Clyde, the, the beating that you administered to him in the sixth and the seventh and the eighth rounds, how this guy took it, I'll never know. Me either. I hope I'll, I'll never have to be in his position, I'll tell you that. <laughs> right here, the uppercuts are working. I, I hit him with some wicked uppercuts, left uppercuts, right uppercuts. and. Uh, what, was there anything left in Bunny Grant's punches here along the ropes? Oh, no. I, I wasn't worrying about him hurting me at this point. The only thing I was worrying about at this point was bunts. We, we kept butting heads when we were in close. I don't think there was anything doing it deliberately, but we were hitting heads a lot. That's the only thing that was worrying me from here on. Of course, every fighter in fear is butting. That is the one thing that can end a fight so fast. That's true. Oh, there's a good combination. How tired were you at this point? I wasn't tired at all, Perry. I, I just felt good for this fight all the way through. I was relaxed. I never, never got tired at all. I was busy all the time. Busy good right hand. Time. Good left hook there, too. Another left hook. I thought maybe at this point that the referee, Sammy Lovespring, might uh, step in and stop the fight. Uh, me too, Fergie. After the knockdown there, uh, I, I thought uh, he might stop the fight. And when I had him in the change in the corner, and he just took everything. He was hurt. I was waiting for the referee at any minute to come in and step in and stop it's the fight. It's tough, though, for the referee, Clyde, knowing a fighter like Grant, who's had 84 votes, uh, they know that this guy is a KG veteran. the end of round seven. There's the bell for round eight of the British Commonwealth Welterweight Championship fight. Clyde Gray, the champion in the red trunks. The challenger, Bunny Grant. Last round there, I hit him with some good left hooks to the body. I heard him grunt once, once in the corner. I knew he was hurt to the body. Really hurt. But he's a stubborn fighter. I don't think they come in as tough as one of Bunny Grant is showing tremendous stamina.
remember, it was at the end of this round that Bunny Grant could not answer the bell for the ninth round. This is the eighth round. The jabs are really hard jabs. They might not look too hard, uh, you know, like watching on the screen here, but those jabs from in this round, I hit him with some real stiff hard jabs, and I know they were hurting him. The left-right combination. the fastest well the way in the world, Fergie. <laughs> no question about that. I won't argue with you. <laughs> oh, there was a good right. He didn't expect that one, Clyde. That's not that one. Either. You talk about speed. That was a good example. You're giving us a little shuffle there, too. Yeah, well, I felt good. I really felt good. You know, some nights a fighter can be in good shape and, and not really fight good. Uh, this was just my night, one of my best nights to play. I just felt like fighting, and uh, I just felt good. seems to get the way just when you get ready to soak the real hard one that should take him down. He's taking a lot of punches. You're not missing hardly with any of those. Oh, no, those, those are a damaging punches, too. The uppercut, there. look at that. That left uppercut is, is, is a dangerous punch. It rips, it digs in. That's where the fight should have been stopped, I think, maybe right there. Yeah, it's true. I agree. He took a lot of punches along his rope right here. To this point, Bonnie Grant had not won a round. Look at that beating, and look at him. He's standing there. Right, and he throws back. And that's the end of round eight. And this is when the doctor was called, summoned to the ring. Listen to this conversation. just been stopped. There's Sammy Love spraying, and of course, Clyde Gray, the winner. Clyde, my thanks to you for guesting with us today, and another tremendous fight. Thanks a lot, Bertie. My, my pleasure. And just watch the British Commonwealth Welterweight Championship bout here on CTV's Wide World of Sports. Gesture in the business, isn't it, Clyde? Yeah, that's definitely.